What up, YouTube? T-Movies here. It's Thursday. That means it's time for my uh, opening this week segment where I talk about the new films coming to theaters and streaming services of the week. Alright, now there's not really much opening in, like, why. The only major wide release film we got opening this week, it is Birds of Prey. Which I, I will say this up front, I've been loving these trailers. You know, Margaret Robbie's Holly Quinn, to me, she was literally, like, uh, she was literally my favorite part of Suicide Squad. I actually really, like, enjoyed Suicide Squad slightly more than most people did. But, you know, even if I didn't like that movie, I will tell you right now that she's, that she'll still be my favorite part of the, of the whole movie. She was awesome in that. And having her team with other uh, characters like Huntress, Black Canary, oh boy, I'm gonna have to wear headphones with the Black Canary screech. I'm sorry, even when I watch... Like, Black Canary, no wonder why she kills, uh, why her screech kills people. That is a really annoying, uh, screech. Every time I, uh, on, you know, Arrow, when a Black Canary does a screech thing, I am I had to mute, a couple times I had to mute the TV, because that, that, a uh, screech really hurts her uh, ears once in a while. Like, it is a bit annoying. And, of course, you got Renee Matoya, played by, uh, uh, Rosie Perez. I think this looks really downright awesome, and the reviews are being really great. I can't remember the exact percentage, but I think it has like an 85% at, on Ryan Smith's. Um, I could be mistaken there, but I know it's like above 80, so... Yeah, I just cannot wait to see this one. And come on. You also got Black Mask in this, played by Hugh McGregor. One more to you ask for. Alright, now, other films coming out this week are mainly coming in limited release, but there's some really interesting stuff here to talk about. One of which is a horror movie called The Lodge. In The Lodge, during a family retreat to a remote winter cabin over the holidays, the father is forced to umbrella depart for work, leaving his two children in the care of his new girlfriend, Grace, played by... My, maybe my new crush, uh, Raleigh Keogh. And so, isolated and alone, a, a b blizzard traps them inside the lodge as terrifying events summons, uh, to, during, a great, to, for Grace's past. So, there's, like, uh, s you know, demons that happen in this. You know, the lodge is from the same directors who get, who did that movie, Good Night Mommy, which was really good. If you guys never seen Good Night Mommy, that is one of the most terrifying Messed up movies you ever want to see. And now we got The Lodge, starring Riley Keo, uh, Jaden, um, Jaden Martell, I think his name is now. Uh, he was in uh, the It movies. Uh, he's actually becoming a really good actor. Uh, the girl from uh, the new uh, Eternals movies in this. I, I think this looks really terrifying, looks creepy, and sign me up. I think this could be something really good. Alright. Also coming out this week, it's actually a, horror, a film I was hoping to check out, but it's not really playing anywhere near me, but I guess I'll watch it uh, on a main streaming service or whatnot. Uh, it's a horror film called Come to Daddy, which stars Elijah Wood as a privileged uh, man-child who arrives at the, at the beautiful and remote coastal cabin of his estranged father, whom he hasn't seen in 30 years. He quickly discovers that not only is his uh, dad a jerk, he, is, he also has a shady past that is rushing to catch up with him. This looks insane. You know, you've got uh, Stephen McKetty is also in this. Uh, Elijah Wood. He, he, he's, like, ever since Frodo and all, he's been doing some some interesting uh, projects. Like, he's mainly been really caught cool up with the horror genre. Because he did that movie, the remake of Maniac. Uh, he's actually... Supposedly supposed to be doing like a remake of Nightmare on Elm Street, so that's interesting. But uh, Come to Daddy looks, it looks insane. So I'll definitely give this one a watch. All right. Also, at this week, there's a film called Waiting for Anna. It's about a boy and a relentless a widow work together to smuggle Jewish children in Spain during World War II. Okay. Now that stars Angelica Houston, who doesn't love Angelica Houston. I mean, come on, the witches. Uh, Angelica Houston's just, she's just the best. And it also stars uh, the dude from the kid from uh, Stranger Things, Noah Schnapp, is in this. This could, I mean, I do like be a good World War II movie, so maybe this could be something pretty good. 
All right. There's a golf movie out this week called uh, Dream Round, which is about uh, Joe Bona struggles in life after uh, the death of his loving wife and two small children who died in a, a car accident 15 years ago. Uh, Joe becomes inspired with a chance to play the dream round of his life. It stars 21 Jump, the original 21 Jump Show, I say. Uh, star Richard Grieco. Uh, this, I, I do love me a good golf movie. I mean, Happy Gilmore, Caddyshack are two of my favorites, so I'll give that one a watch. And last but not least, uh, and, uh, there's, uh, there's a film, there's a horror movie called Cupid. Just the time for our Valentine's Day. Here is what Cupid is about. After the horrendously embarrassed by uh, the mean girls at school, Faye, a practicing witch, summons the evil Cupid to take revenge on all those who uh, wronged her. On Valentine's Day, Cupid does in fact rise and will stop at nothing until all are punished. The students must figure out a way to stop Cupid and undo the spells before their uh, hearts get broken, literally. This looks insane. You know, we had killer Santa Clauses. We've had a killer Easter by one time. Uh, we've had other killer... Uh, we had a killer Gingerbread Man, a killer Pinocchio, and now it's Cupid's turn. I mean, this could easily be dumb. This could be... This could be horrible. But, and... I actually did saw the trailer before I, uh... Made this video, and this movie actually looks really great. Um, it should be. looks creepy, messed up. I mean, you're probably not going to look at Cupid the same way. And, I mean, the best time we ever seen Cupid was when uh, he was, um, if you guys remember when he was Eric Cartman on that uh, episode of uh, South Park. So, there you go. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a killer Cupid? Why not? I, they, they think of some weird, some of the weirdest, uh, Characters who uh, kill people. I mean, maybe cute. I mean, come on. They had a movie about a killer chair. Like, literally. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll give this one a watch. It'll be a good film to watch around Valentine's Day. Anyway, now, those are the films coming to theaters, theaters, and limited release. But now coming to streaming, um, premiering tomorrow on Disney Plus, we got a movie called Timmy Failure Mistakes Are Made. Were made, I said. It's based on a book and is about an 11 year old boy who believes that he is the best detective, also known he's a he's like a male version of Nancy Drew. But he believes that he is the best detective in town and he runs at the agency Total Failures with his best friend, which is a uh, one, one, two, one, uh, 200 pound uh, polar bear. With, uh, and the film starts Winslow Fe uh, Fagley. Uh, Craig Robinson, some really interesting cast members. The movie premiered at Sundance with great reviews. So, uh, I, I'm kind of like intrigued by this. I, I mean, Disney Plus has some pretty interesting films in recent years. Like, uh, I still haven't seen Togo. I've been hearing so much, like, so many good stuff about Togo. You know, the uh, dog movie with William the Fall. I still haven't gotten around to watch that. Maybe I should check that one out. Of course, I really quite like the Lady and Tramp reboot. I really like uh, Noel. I'm looking forward to see what other movies uh, Disney Plus has up their sleeve. Uh, Star Girl looks decent. I'm intrigued by the Home Alone reboot. They're rebooting Cheap by a Dozen, Night, Night at the Museum, etc. So, Timmy Feather, I'll probably give this one a watch. Anyway, uh. Alright, also, um. Now, not coming to Disney Plus, obviously. Uh, coming to, uh. Netflix this week. It's a film called Horse Girl, which which uh, stars Alison Brie as uh, Sarah, who's this, a socially isolated art and uh, craft store employee who finds herself more uh, content in the company of horses and supernatural crime shows than people. But when a series of strangely surreal uh, dreams upend the uh, similarity of her waking life, Sarah struggles to distinguish her visions from a reality, a darkly hum a humorous psychological drill about a woman's search for the truth, however abstract it may be. Now, this movie is directed by Jeff uh, Bianna, who also directed uh, that, you know, raunchy already nun movie, uh, The Little Hours, which also had Alison Brie. Uh, he, he also did that uh, zombie comedy with uh, Aubrey Plaza. That was actually pretty decent. I can't remember the name. Uh, Life After Beth, I think it was called, with Aubrey Plaza and Nick Goffman. 
If you guys haven't seen that, that movie's really good. And now he has Horse Girl, which is a Netflix film. And besides Brie, it also stars Debbie Ryan, Molly Shannon, uh, Paul Reiser. And, so, and uh, yeah, I think Horse Girl sounds, it, it could be dumb and all, but, hey, with uh, Brie um, starring, with, uh, with great cast members like this, I'll probably check this one out when it premieres on uh, Netflix. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. Now, let me leave you guys. Uh, which of these are you uh, interested in watching? Are you interested in uh, Birds of Prey, uh, Timmy Failer, Horse Girl, The Lodge, uh, Come to Daddy, etc.? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timmy signing off.